Maddie rests against the workstation, ready to start noting the results of the Marsh and Cat health analysis. Okay, Rachel, let's go, she instructs the base computer. Rachel, the computer with the voice of a 12-year-old girl, reports on the analysis of the Marsh and Cat's health using the technical lingo from the user's guide. She says, the Martian cat has been recent, recently nuked on high and concussed by low gravity droppage. That's your fault, Maddie growls at Charlie. He shuffles around from foot to foot embarrassed. Rachel continues, the Martian cat has suffered contemporary tenderization. Yeah, 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 Maddie says dismissively, moving right along. The Martian cat has a disconnected posterior substructure. What, Charlie asks, confused? What does that even mean? That means its tail fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie tells him, <clears throat> just concentrate, okay? Keep going, Rachel. The Martian cat is largely incapable of acquiring acoustic data. The cat is deaf, Maddie says, marking, marking the manual with a pen. The Martian cat has conjunctival cataracts in both eyes. The cat's blind. Ah, uh, like love sighs Charlie. No, Charlie, Maddie snaps. The Martian cat is not like love, unless love is a non-healing skin disease. Is that what you had in mind, mate? No, not really. Charlie looks at the floor despondently. He's getting scorned again. So how about you quit with the romantic poetry? It's not welcome on this planet. Rachel continued. The Martian cat's left and right nostrils are blocked by desiccated mucus. Oh, God. It's got double snot nose. The Martian cat lacks pelt covering on a forward limb. It's been degloved. The Martian cat suffers debilitating complications caused by scabies, rabies and scab, as well as multiple canker skin syndrome. Oh, my eyes. It's impostulated. Maddie makes a disgusting grimace. And you had this fucking thing in your helmet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Charlie goes, it was awful. Did you wash the helmet afterwards? With what? There's no running water on this stupid planet. <laughs> Whatever, I'll sanitize it later, Rachel. The Martian cat suffers 30% detachment of anterior grippage. Some of its, some of its front, front claws are missing. The Martian cat has digestive malfunction leading to intentional and non-intentional outgassing from the posterior orifice. <laughs> oh, fuck my life, says Maddie angrily. You brought a flatulent cat into the command module. What the fuck were you even thinking? It was attached to my face, Charlie whimpers, <laughs> feeling queasy as he re is reminded of what happened inside that space helmet not so long ago. He still has the metallic taste of the aerosolized cat shit in his mouth. <laughs> <coughs> the Martian's cat vertebral derma is degraded and is susceptible to imminent discrophage. discrophage. Don't pick it up by the scruff of the neck, Maddie instructs. Why not? Because its neck will fall off, dumb fuck. <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> all right, all right, says Charlie defensively. No, it's not all right, Charlie. This is serious shit. A Martian cat has gone inside the command center. It ought to have been quarantined, Rachel. The Martian cat's Mental function has been severely compromised by cosmic rays, micronutrient deficiency, abject loneliness, and Mars immer immiseration. The Martian cat is stupid. Fuck, this goes on forever, Maddie snaps angrily. Rachel, let's wrap this up, can we please? The Martian cat has no teeth, its fur is falling out, and it, su it suffers whisker failure. <laughs> it has green tongue, and it smells like gangrene mixed with blue cheese. Rachel says quickly, this ends the health analysis of Martian Cat ID 45665757. Well, says Charlie, seeking to put a positive spin on things. Apart from all of that, it's in pretty good shape, really. <laughs> what? Maddie asks Astounder, looking up for a manual where she has completed her assessment. The cat is not in good shape at all, Charlie. Its Martian Cat classification is SSF, as I suspected. SSF? What does that even mean? It stands for stupid, skanky, and flatulent. That's the lowest grade of Martian cat there is. But can we fix it, right? You can't fix SSF, Charlie. It's bone deep. That animal is going straight into the autoclave. 
before it outgasses and completely fucks the air quality of the command center. Not happy with his answer, Charlie lolls over to the health analyzer and retrieves the slimy critter from inside. The Martian cat regains consciousness and its eyes swivel inside their sockets as it tries to regain what little of its senses actually work. Charlie holds it protectively against his chest, says firmly. No way, if you put the cat in the autoclave, you'll have to put me in there too. Well, that's all the more protein for me, says Manny, reaching for the bone saw. <laughs> Charlie backs away with the cat, looking anxiously for somewhere to run to. But where does one run to in the portable laboratory size shithole that they call the habitation modules on Mars? <laughs> What's he going to do? Go outside. Get a grip, Charlie. You're on Mars, mate. Sensing Charlie getting his freak on, the Martian cat expresses fluids from its open sores and it <laughs> slips out of Charlie's house. <laughs> Falls slowly onto the floor and makes a run for it, hobbling away on three of its four legs so quick rolling. <laughs> Oh fuck, it's escaped, Maddie snaps. <laughs> she hurls, hurls the bone saw at the Martian cat and it strikes the floor making that viv viv noise bouncing and slicing one of the Martian cat's ears clean off. Pretty <laughs> pretty cat. Oh, God. Earless and Eviscerated. <laughs> the cat increases its pace and disappears into a convenient hole in the wall that is big enough only for a small emaciated animal. Maddie rushes over to the hole and peers inside. Well, that's a right fuck up, she barks, rounding on Charlie. Now there's a fletching cat on the lamb. Run, little kitty, run, <laughs> Charlie calls out. Run and hide. You just don't get it, do you, Charlie? Maddie says, glaring at him. I get that you don't care for your pets. Charlie, let me give you the Mars induction that you clearly didn't get back on Earth. She asks, she asks him to take a seat, and he does so out of fear of what comes next. <laughs> Yeah.